Seed stratification. It can be very important to get seeds germinated, but a lot of you are doing it wrong and then it just doesn't work. So in this video, I'm going to look at some ways that people do stratification. Then we'll talk about what it really is and try and understand the essence of it. Why do seeds need stratification? And once you understand that, then we'll go back and look at the various methods and see which one will work. The other big question you have is, does this seed need stratification? And we'll answer that as well. So people use a variety of methods for stratification. Uh, some people put them in the freezer. Some people take the seed pack and put it in the fridge. And the fridge is cold. That sounds like a cold treatment. Other people use my improved baggie method. Put the seeds in the baggie and then put them in the fridge. Or you can plant them in pots and put them in the fridge. And then other people do winter sowing. Which of these methods really work? Well, if you understand what stratification really is and why seeds need it, it'd be really obvious which of these methods work and which don't. So let's start by understanding stratification. First thing to understand is that seeds are alive. I know they're these black round balls just kind of sitting there not doing anything, but they're alive. They're breathing. They need oxygen. They have internal biochemical reactions taking place. Seeds really are alive. In fact, if the seed dies, they will never germinate. At some point, the embryo in that seed starts to grow, and that's germination. The first thing all seeds need to germinate is moisture. They're sitting there too dry. When we add water to them, it starts biochemical processes that start that embryo to grow. And for most seeds, that's all you need is some moisture. That includes almost all the vegetable seed. And in fact, I can't think of a single vegetable seed that needs stratification. If you know one, put it in the description. But when we're talking about perennials, trees, and shrubs, lots of those do need stratification. The embryo in the seed is dormant. And when we add some water, it still remains dormant. These seeds that need stratification go through a slightly different process. We add some water, but that's not enough to get it out of dormancy. That seed also needs a cold treatment. There are three things these kind of seeds need to germinate. They need air. Remember, they're alive and breathing. They need water. That starts the biochemical reactions. And then they need a certain number of hours of cold treatment. The seed actually keeps track of how many hours of cold it's experienced. And once it reaches the right level, that embryo starts to grow. And every species is a little different. Some require a few hours. Others require a long period. So what is cold? How do we define that? Well, it turns out that if the temperature is below freezing, that does not qualify as cold. That does not give the seed a chill period. If the temperature is above 60 Fahrenheit or 16 centigrade, it's too warm and there's no accumulation of cold time. It turns out that the perfect temperature for accumulating cold is the temperature of your refrigerator, somewhere between 1 and 4 degrees centigrade or 34 to 7 degrees Fahrenheit. That's perfect. If you take the seed and you put it in the fridge for an hour, it accumulates one hour of cold treat. What's really interesting is that if you take that seed after an hour and take it out and warm it up and let it sit warm for an hour, it loses that accumulated cold period. Remember, the seed's keeping track of the cold period. And so a cold temperature increases it slowly. Bringing it into the warm decreases it back down. So it's important that we take these seeds, put them in the fridge, and keep them there for a period that's long enough. All right, so how do you know how long to keep them in the fridge? Well, every seed is different. And the best place to get this kind of information is the Ontario Rock Garden and Hardy Plant Society website. They have a germination guide there that's been accumulating information for many years. It's taken the research data from people like Dr. Dino and Tom Clothier, who've accumulated this kind of information, and they put it all in one big database. And then to that, they've added experiences from gardeners. Gardeners like myself, who've been germinating seeds for 20 some years. We also contribute information to that database. And so now you have one database with all this accumulated information. That's the place to go and get the right answer. Don't ask those kind of questions on social media. Go to the source. Most of the time, that stratification period is somewhere between one and 
three months. Follow the instruction. Now, so far, we've been talking about cold, moist stratification. Apparently, there are some seed that wants to be cold and dry, but those are very rare cases, and I've never come across one. When people say stratification, they mean cold and moist. Now let's go back and look at these various methods that people use to germinate seeds. The first one I'd like to look at is freezing. They take the seed and put it in the freezer. Well, most people put it in dry, so it's not going to work for two reasons. One, the seed is dry, and two, the temperature is too low to stratify. It has to be above freezing to work. Many people do stratification by taking the seed package that they got and just putting it in the fridge. And they leave it there for a month and say, I've stratified my seed. That is not stratification. The seed is too dry. And without being moist, it doesn't accumulate cold time. So one option is to take your seed and put it in a pot of soil, water it, that's the moisture, and then put that in your fridge. Now, I tried that years ago. And my wife gave me hell. What are you doing putting dirt in my fridge? Okay, that's an exaggeration. But who wants dirty pots in their fridge? And that's one of the reasons I prefer the baggy method. My improved baggy method takes the seed, puts it in moist paper towel, puts that in the fridge, and that works great. And in fact, I can then take those seeds out and see if they germinate, see if I've given them enough cold period. And if not, I put them back in the fridge for a longer period of time. Another option is winter sowing. So we take the pots, we put seed in the soil, we put it outside, and we just forget about it. Now, in the early part of winter, when it's freezing outside, it's not getting the stratification. But as things warm up, and we start going above zero, we're in that sweet spot of a one to four degree centigrade, it starts accumulating stratification hours. And then when it gets warmer, they just naturally germinate. So winter sowing is a good technique and will work with a lot of seed that needs stratification. All right, now you know everything there is to know about stratification. You've got to make the seed wet first, then give it a cool period. Your fridge is a perfect place to do that. Too warm or too cold doesn't work. I'd like to look at one other myth about stratification. A lot of people believe that stratification is used to break the hard seed coat. That's not true. Stratification has to do with internal biochemical reactions, waking up that embryo so it starts growing. If a seed has a real tough seed coat, you have to use a different method for that, and that's called scarification. And unfortunately, that sounds very much like stratification. The two are quite different. If you want to learn more about scarification, have a look at this video here. And if you're not familiar with my advanced baggy method, watch this video here. Happy seeding.